Hi, I'm Bill Taggart, and uh, today I'm going to talk to you about one of the behind the scenes things that we do here at Taggart Injury Law that may be appealing to some of you who like courtroom dramas and legal dramas on TV. So, here's what we do. Um, we're faced with a particular challenge, and in this instance, the challenge is proving something that's invisible. How do you prove something that's invisible? And in particular, how do you prove pain? Two things. First, we start with the givens. Number one, there's no pain meter out there. There's no pain meter that says, okay, this person's suffering pain and this person isn't suffering pain. The second thing is, and the second challenge, is that many people, or some people, don't like personal injury laws, lawyers, we get that, and don't think that we have much credibility. When you look at the national rankings, we're all uh, down there low near politicians. So when we have to prove something on behalf of our clients that's invisible, how do we go about doing it and how do we do so in a credible way? So, uh, one of the things we do is we work with uh, medical legal illustrators to prepare medical models. And this is an example of one of the medical models that we used in one of our cases. So this is not real. This is based on a 3D printer that prepared this based on a CT or a CAT scan image done of our clients, our client uh, at the hospital following a car crash. Each of the little red lines you see that are on this image represent the fractures or broken bones in her face following the car crash. When you see bones like this where there's multiple fractures, that's what's called a comminuted fracture where it's been uh, smashed into pieces the bone. So in this case the challenge was that our client suffered um, headaches before the accident. And the defense theory was that the headaches that they suffered from uh, before the accident were no different from the headaches that they suffered after. Our client, on the other hand, said that she suffered far more severe headaches following the crash. And we used the medical model to show that it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that someone who suffers a facial smash injury like this is going to thereafter suffer from post-traumatic headaches. So, along with other things, that's one of the things we do here at Tigard Injury Law. Hopefully you found it somewhat interesting. We're so grateful for all of our social media followers and, and community. If you do like this video, feel free to like it, share it, and comment on it. Let us know if there's something you'd like to hear about, one, one, something that you're interested in. Thanks and bye for now.